They met in the first round. Now they see each other again in the lightweight finals. Javier Ortega and Chad Cannon. I'm adapting to karate combat right now, and I think I can do a good show, and I can be one of the, the greatest. I'm going to win the Kumite because I believe that out of all the fighters, like I'm the one that's destined to be here. I feel like it was just God's opportunity and God's timing for me to be here at this time to be able to perform and showcase my technique. Oh, oh, oh. Fighting out of the blue corner, training since seven years old, has been excellent in this tournament so far. It's Chad Cannon. He takes on, once again, the person he beat in the first round, Javier Ortega, saved by the jury with the ultimate opportunity just out of arm's reach. Ross Levine, Let's the rematch back. is upon us. I'm excited. You know, it's it's always crazy when you see rematches no, you that you happen, you know, weeks and months in the making. This is, you know, <laughs> really, really soon. So what, who's going to make the adjustments? You know, this is the key. Um, this is what sport karate fighters do best, is they create these adjustments and they're able to make the changes. You know, we see the crazy flashiness. And the other thing too is, man, Ortega's had an extra fight, not just an extra round, an extra fight. And we know he cut a lot of weight. Is that gonna play a difference here? And Franklin Hivas had a really good performance against Ortega, gave Ortega a ton of strikes up top. The durability of Javier could be the question in this final. Absolutely. <laughs> Cannon, man, I mean, this guy's been spectacular so far. Yeah, you know what though, I, I, I'm I'm one of these things that uh, you know you, you got to make sure you hit the body. And there he is, right? Kick that body, kind of drain whatever's left in that gas tank. That's what I would do, and wait for the second round for the flashy stuff. Javier Ortega trying to counter off that low kick. The early frames of round number one playing very similar to their first fight. Cannon leading the dance, but Ortega making the adjustments. Nice little foot sweep from Ortega. Way to off balance him. He throws that power. Just missed, though. The lightweight finals. There's nothing more after this. It's time to leave it all inside the pit. Cannon with a great connection. Oh, that was low. Over there, over there, over there. A little bit of a low blow there. A little bit of a low blow. Maybe not the best connection. No. You can do anything once. <laughs> It's accidental, just be careful with it. Uh, I would love to see Chad switch that front kick over to a round kick. Really stop that right hand counter. You know, by going to the leg, you still allow the opportunity for the that, that counter puncher to land that heavy shot. But when you go to the body, it changes things up. You have to react, put your arms down a little bit. Yeah, the leg, the leg kick is going to be a great entry for Ortega as well. Ortega making the investments in round number one. The top 10 WKF competitor talked to us a lot about sacrifice. He has made so many efforts to be here tonight. Doesn't want to go home without that contract. Big swings from both fighters. And then a little bit of a stalemate. Yeah, good attempt, a little late there. Remember, you only have a couple seconds in that, in that clinch exchange to, to make it happen, so you gotta move fast. Chad Cannon, Javier Ortega make their way to the end of round number one. Sort of a test of strength right at the end there with that grappling sequence. Ross Levine, your thoughts overall on yeah, the first round? A very competitive round. I mean, you saw the flashy techniques coming from Chad as expected, and we saw the powerful exchanges, maybe even the better shots landed by Ortega. Really tough round. It seems like those, one to score. those light kicks were the difference maker for Ortega here in the finals. We take it to the jury and see what they made of this lightweight final first round between Javier Ortega and Chad. Chad Cannon. Well, we started the Kumite with uh, this fight, and now we wrap it up. We wrap it up with the same fight. It's not the same fight at all. Nope. nope. They got the experience of the first two fights, and I'm really enjoying every every second of it. Yeah, I really. If I just point out, I really love red corner boxing. Yeah. Just improving throughout this tournament. You know, the counter boxing, the counter combinations. Speech. Yeah. Yep. Very beautiful. Let's see what he can do now in round two. Veteran referee Sam Amini gets us going you change, you ready, you for ready. this second Let's round lightweight finals. Ortega Cannon, contract on the line. And like Samuel Erickson was mentioning, the boxing of Ortega steadily improving. He's inching closer and closer to the chin of Chad Cannon. Yeah, the key is how do you set it up, right? You, you can't just throw the dry boxing with someone who's as explosive, as fast, and, and reactive as Chad. And nice low kick there from Chad, mixing it up a little bit. The state of movement that Chad Cannon is in is continuous. 
never sitting down or resting, Ross. And again, there you just saw it, right? Just leading, lunging in with those punches. It's not going to be enough to really make that connection with Chad. I think he's too on it. Nice little mix up there. First time we see Chad really engage the pit wall. It's what you want to see out of a potential karate combat combatant. Absolutely. You've got to stop with that hand pointed out and the fingers out, okay? I'm fine with it here. Stop pointing out. You're going to catch him in the eye. We're clear? Let's go. Sam Amidi with the instruction on the appendages. We don't want any of that going on, Ross. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, I think, uh, again, this is a, a great chance to see the adjustments being made. And we're seeing it play out perfectly you here. If you're going to do that. Second round of this lightweight final. Ortega needs down. to come alive a little bit, in my opinion. Break. Yeah, he turn may have face, taken that face, first face, round, but he's, he's been very passive in the second round. I think he needs a little bit more action. How do you stop that forward pressure of Chad Cannon if you're Javier Ortega? Well, you got to meet fire with fire, right? They, they say the, uh, the, the best way to beat an offensive fighter is with offense because generally their defense is usually not as good, right? So think fire with fire, but I would love to see Ortega just set it up with a couple more kicks. I think he'd be that much more effective. Chad Cannon is sort of slapping away the lead hand of Ortega, but Javier Ortega grounds Chad Cannon. You can't pick him when he's down. You clear? You good? Yeah. Ten seconds go. here to make a difference. One guy can make one big moment here at the end of our second round. And our lightweight final oh, comes to a right. close. Two rounds in the can between Chad Cannon and Javier Ortega. The rematch. Your thoughts so far, Ross Levine? Gosh, really still hard to tell. You know, it, that, that was a very similar round to the first round, which we both agreed was, was tough to call. You know, you had the damaging strikes by Ortega. Yeah, I think Chad did a little bit more in that second round. Honestly, I got to see a third. Razor thin margins here in this second round. It seems like Javier Ortega has made the reads. This is much closer than their first round meeting, but it all depends. Let's take it over to the jury and find out what they thought of that second round. Yeah, I would totally say a third round would be the correct choice I here. I really yep. hope we have. I, I'll, I'll second that or third that if you wanted to call it like that. Yeah. So we want a third round. I was a, a, a little surprised, you know, that, that they kind of wanted to go third round, but it doesn't matter what fight organization that you're fighting, where you're fighting at, you got to be prepared for the unexpected. I know it wasn't going to be easy. I came here to fight. If it took me three more fights to go, I was mentally prepared for that. The jury would like a third round, but the judges seem to have a different school of thought. Ross Levine, we've got a decision. This is, this is where it gets tricky, man. They always say, don't leave it to the judges. Let's see what they say. Two rounds of action in the can. We send it inside to Alex Wendling to find out the winner in our lightweight final. And we are just moments away from finding out who's going to be taking home the lightweight karate combat contract. The jury wanted to see a third round, but the judges saw a decision. Now we head to the judges' scorecards. I learned a lot in the first round. In the second one, I think uh, I was thinking more and I was doing a better strategy. First round, I kind of wanted to come out with more of a sport karate balance and stance, low to the body, high to the head. My opponent was a little fatigued from the first round. He still got power in that backhand, so I had to be very conscious of that as well. The judges scored this fight in favor of Chad Cannon. Yeah! But the contract goes to both of you guys. Congratulations to the both of you. Javier Ortega and Chad Cannons both get a karate combat contract. My first uh, fight we tried uh, was kind of hard. I mean, he's a good opponent and my respect for him. Going out there competing again, I think that we both had a mutual respect for each other's uh, technique. Once in the first round, rematched in the finals. Who knows? We could see the trilogy in the karate combat lightweight division. Both men enter the pit. Ross Levine, that's acrobatic as hell. I would have loved to see a little bit more of this energy in the fight, if you ask me. <laughs> if you got energy to throw backflips, you should have been throwing hands. We may see an, uh, a third fight between me and Javier. You know, uh, that's one thing that we kind of were joking about at the end. Like, hey, I'm sure I'm going to see you again. Adam, why this decision? Why do both of them get a contract? 
because throughout the tournament they did amazing. They came here to fight. The first uh, match you lost, but you came back. You made the final, and you not only made the final, but you know this was very, very even. Uh, and Chad, you know, like whatever you did here was was on point. Great fights. So um, this is exactly what Karate Combat is looking for. And now you two kind of start this journey together, both getting contracts on the same day. Is it still going to be a rivalry? Or are you guys going to see a friendship here? You know, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, pass on the friendship. It's going to be a rivalry, but you know, uh, you know, we're friends. We fought in the ring. We're brothers. You know, when I step out here in the ring, it's it's nothing uh, against that other guy. It's just it's just me fighting myself to be the best. Well, we got to get them a fight set up. So thank you guys so much, and congratulations to both of you. Sacrifice paid off for both gentlemen, cutting 18 pounds in a week for Javier Ortega and the discipline of the lifelong practitioner, Chad Cannon. Welcome to Karate Combat, both gentlemen. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla. And if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.